in this here make me tough to you snack cake to me yeah more house more house this been overdue forever forever ask me when it was dropping said never never should have made you cut the feather but i designed it freemason margella what's good he shall try here the most woke no joke and i'm back, back. Back at again with a brand new video, and I'm gonna keep it a six pack of Bowberry biscuits with you. I'm a liar. I gotta go ahead and admit it right now. It's something that I've been thinking about over the last few hours, over the last like day or so, last two days really. But I have to just go out and just admit to you guys, I'm a liar of the worst kind. I made a promise, and I'm about to break it. I made every single one of you guys a promise a couple months ago. And I think this is the day I have to just be who I really am right now and look you right in your ojos and the windows to your soul and admit to you I'm a liar. I have to speak on Calvin Benjamin. Now, I do not want to. Now, after my last video on Calvin Benjamin where he said what he said about Cam and did what he did, after the game and before the game and all that, I promise I would never speak that man's name again. I told you guys in that video, I said in several comments, I even tweeted about it, I said, look, don't ask me about Kevin Benjamin because I will not mention that man's name again on my YouTube channel. I let bygones be bygones. He's a grown man, he can say, do, and eat what he wants to. I cannot stop that man, especially from that third thing. Let me tell you a story in three tweets, all from Adam Schefter. Throw up this first one, I can I just read it to you real quick? Bills released wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin and wide receiver Andre Holmes. Also placed center Russell Odeen, I guess, on injured reserve. I read that tweet when he put it out on December 4th and said to myself, Makes sense. That dude ain't all that nice. Kelvin Benjamin, I mean, he has had the best year of all time. Kelvin Benjamin has had a borderline horrible year. Just look at his stats here. I don't leave it up for too long. There's a couple things you can really look at here. But what I really want to focus on here, go to the column that's third from the right. It says catch percentage. You can see all these numbers over here. Some of them high, a lot of them low. Now, if you averaged all these numbers together, you would get for the season a 37.1% catch percentage on the year. There are games he gets targeted six times, he only caught one. Games he got targeted seven times, only caught one. Games he got targeted five times, only caught one. A game he got targeted three times, caught none. A game he got targeted seven times, caught two. I start reading through those, and I say, you know what? You take it all into account, Kelvin being cut isn't really the biggest of news. And there was a second tweet from today, the 6th of December. Former Bills wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin, who cleared waivers yesterday, big surprise, is visiting the Kansas City Chiefs today per source. And now I put my thinking cap on. I said, hold up. I said, hold up. A am I reading the right words? Did, did I forget English? Am I in the wrong classroom right now, coach? Because I, I, I must <laughs> I must have got amnesia. Did someone hack Adam Schefter? Did someone hack Andy Reid? The Kansas City Chiefs, we all know what happened. We all understand the situation. But, 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 but you, you, you call up, you call up Kelvin Benjamin? You, right now. I don't know if it's just you watching this video or someone beside you. I'm pointing at all two of you. All three of you. Come here. You can do a better job playing wide receiver for the Chiefs. I promise you, Calvin Benjamin ain't better than you. How much does your job pay you right now? Look, I promise you right this second, go to the Chiefs website, find their contact information, and tell them you will work for just over what you're getting paid at your job. You don't need $100,000. You don't need millions of dollars. I promise you. Just offer your services. Say, look, I'll do it for one game. If I don't look good, hey, you didn't lose too much. But give me, a, give me a small contract if I do really well. If I do at least better than Kelvin Benjamin, what do you have to lose? Then I had to calm down and say, you know what? Let me cool down. It's a visit. It's a workout. They might not even sign him. I mean, you have to work out who you got to work out. It's not like the Colin Kaepernick situation where they're just not going to work out a guy for no reason at all. They have to work out different guys. You know, may not even pick him up. See what he can bring to your team. And then the third and final piece to this trilogy of tweets, this 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 sad, sad story that I had to read today, not even an hour ago. Adam Schefter tweets, former Bills wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin is signing with the Kansas City... <laughs> Excuse me. Former Bills wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin is... <laughs> I'm allergic to complete... Trash. I cannot even get this sentence out. What and why and where and when and who? Who signed off on this deal? 
I, I've never seen any entity, any person, any company be any more desperate than this. Unless he's getting his position changed to defensive end. I think their old line is doing pretty good. They have a pretty decent pass rush, don't they? I, mean, I don't really know, honestly. He can work as a good outside linebacker, maybe. I know the Chiefs' defense ain't all that great. They might put him in there as a strong safety. You never know. You can put him in some blitz packages. I'm not 100% sure. Can he shed blocks coming off the edge? I mean, maybe. I can't even tell you. He could be a good, strong safety in the league. He don't have good hands, but, I mean, you don't have to catch too much when you're on the other side of the ball. And he can maybe do a little bit better getting interceptions when the pressure of actually catching the ball isn't always on his mind. I mean, he can just imagine, that's a, that's a pot roast coming straight to those mitts. He just catch it. Straight to the mouth. I mean, I don't know exactly what the issue is, but I, the Chiefs have got me stumped. But don't get me wrong. This is nothing personal against Kelvin Benjamin. It really, really, really isn't. How I convinced you, I'm going to say really two more times. Really, really isn't personal against Kelvin Benjamin, who said those things about Cam and ain't backed it up. And he got cut from the team he was on saying any other quarterback. And he even named Eli Manning. He said Eli Manning. He said Eli Manning. How's Nate Peterman doing? You were playing with Nathan Peterman, but you couldn't even stay on the team with Josh Allen, Brody. Nothing personal, really, really. Look, when he was on the Bills this year, he was number three in receptions and number of two in yards. He had 23 receptions and 354 yards, which I mean will be okay for like a third or fourth guy in the depth chart for wide receivers, but the Bills also have the 31st ranked pass attack in the league. And we don't have really good receivers, or, I mean, also a quarterback. And while a good quarterback can make bad receivers look good, really good receivers can make a bad quarterback look a lot better than he actually is. So the two aren't really being held back by each other. It's like a symbiotic relationship between you're mediocre, I'm mediocre. Let's just drag each other down just a, a peg or two. But if you needed any kind of frame of reference for exactly where Kelvin falls on this chief roster, with those stats he has from the Bills, he would be fifth in receiving yards on this Chiefs team behind Travis Kelsey, Tyree Kill, Sammy Watkins, and Kareem Hunt. The Chiefs already have two 1,000-yard receivers, but the funny thing is the player above him, it would be Kareem Hunt, who's a running back, but we know he catches the ball too. He has 26 receptions. Kelvin Benjamin has 23 receptions on this season. And to give you even more perspective on what's going on here, he would be number sixth on this team in total receptions behind Chris... Conley. Behind Chris Conley, who has 25 receptions and 248 yards. If Kelvin Benjamin wins a Super Bowl ring before Cam Newton by eating Krispy Kreme donuts every single day of his life, it'll be okay. I won't be upset about it. You know what? I wish I could win a Super Bowl ring by doing literally as close to nothing as possible. You know, some people grow up thinking, you know what, I want to be in that spotlight. I want it to be fourth quarter, I'm the backup quarterback, the main guy goes down, two minute drill, we're down by six. I need to drive the ball 80 yards down the field, two minute drill, no timeouts at all. I want that pressure, I want that time, I want my name in the lights after I drive the team down the field, all passes, no runs, and we get that touchdown, and I hoist that Lombardi trophy and give it a wah. I'm okay with being the practice squad player in the back, saying, hey coach, where, hey, where, where, where my ring at? I help get these guys ready. I mean, look, if they weren't getting a good practice in every single day, then where would they be? I mean, I'm out here working my hardest, helping those guys get better. I'm actually part of the crew. So where's my little blingy bling on? And you know, sometimes practice squad players, janitors, and some of the other people in the organization do get their rings as well. Not all the time, but some places do do that. But if Kelvin Benjamin gets a Super Bowl ring, and this is kind of possible, hmm, I might be the tiniest bit salty, like a bowberry biscuit. Because this man... This man, Kelvin Benjamin, really got into the perfect situation by doing all the wrong things. How do you show up out of shape? How do you talk trash about a former teammate who you were very close friends with? How do you have a 37% catch rate and you still get put on one of the most exciting, explosive offenses in the league so close 
to the playoff time, and they could really be a really good team. You know, Kelvin Benjamin might be really great in one of those stretch run situations, man. You could really put him out there, put him in the slot. There is not a single linebacker or a or a, or a nickel cornerback who's going to shed a block from Kelvin Benjamin. Which corner of the league is going to shed a block from Kelvin Benjamin out there? Oh, my God. This is actually the most genius move of all time. Hold I am tripping, bro. I am actually out of my gourd right now. Chiefs. Oh, captain, my captain. You just picked up the smartest move of the whole season. Andy Reid is actually a genius. This man, Kelvin Benjamin, blocking out wide is probably the best move in NFL history. Kelvin Benjamin going to the Chiefs might have been the smartest move in NFL history. What are your thoughts on the situation, man? Let me know in the comments below. And you already know what to do with that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win. 